A few days ago, I received an email from Gordon. He is one of the subscribers to the channel and asked if the Philippines is a good place to live as he's heard some wonderful things about the country. So today we will be addressing Gordon's question by exploring why you should move to the Philippines. Over the years, I've spoke to many expats who have mentioned just how unique and unforgettable the Philippines is. I believe what this boils down to is the authenticity of the Philippines. Over the last 50 15 years, the Philippines has become more well known with the expat community. As a result, some expats believe that the Philippines will one day become one of the most popular countries in Southeast Asia. But at this current moment, tourism levels are low, and we'll be speaking about this later. But due to the low levels of tourism, you will find that there are many charms and unique characteristics about many of the locations across the Philippines. Hearing about the unspoiled beaches that are almost untouched touched is incredible to imagine, but it's breathtaking to experience. This is one of the reasons that makes the Philippines a tremendously authentic country. Due to the economic growth and developments over the last several years, the Philippines is not seen as a developing country so much as it has been seen in previous years. However, there are still some areas that are going through the expansion stage. Under the current administration, there is a build, build, build project and developments around the country range from large bridge construction to brand new transportation routes. This is an exciting time for the Philippines as it means accessibility and ease of living. If you are also thinking about starting a business or investing in the Philippines, this may be of interest to you. This leads us on to the following reason why you should move to the Philippines, which is, unfortunately, some countries make living in Asia as a foreigner challenging, but the Philippines has a host of opportunities. If you are interested in investment as previously previously mentioned, you will be able to invest even before entering the Philippines. The Philippine Stock Exchange, for example, is an option open to foreigners. I've added the video covering this topic in the description below for those looking for more information. This is not to say that you should invest or start a business in the Philippines, as there are many areas to consider, but instead, this is to highlight the fact that foreigners can invest, they can start a business, and they can live long-term in the Philippines easier than ever South East Asian countries. The majority of Filipinos speak a high level of English proficiency. If you plan to live in Manila, Taglish, which is a mixture of English and Tagalog, is often spoken. Having such a high level of English proficiency in a non-native English-speaking country is phenomenal, and it makes life and communicating with locals so much easier. In addition, if you are a singleton, in general, you will be able to build a deeper connection in the Philippines compared to day in other Southeast Asian countries due to the advantages of English proficiency and understanding in the Philippines. Looking at the historical data excluding the recent pandemic era, the Philippines receives four to five times fewer tourists than the nearby country of Thailand. There are certainly busy periods and many hotspots for locals as well as expats. However, it's much easier to find the natural, pure and uncrowded wonders. The Philippines is known as the Maldives of Asia, and it's clear to see why. Like every country in the world, the Philippines has its pros and cons, and today we've been exploring the uniqueness and the beauty of the Philippines. I always recommend doing some additional research to help support in your journey. Still, I will cover this country in much more detail over the upcoming weeks and months for those who are thinking about moving to the Philippines.